Flowers provide endless inspiration for our quilting. So let's take a look at infinite blooms today. I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as you quilt. Make sure you visit the website or use the link in the description below to download the companion workbook for this video series. Let's get started. For infinite bloom, I just mean a flower with a lot of layers. And you can do this with different petal designs. So our standard daisy petal that we have done before, we just keep going around with that same basic design. You can also do the bracket style, uh, flame style flower. And this gets a little trickier to draw. And it widens out there as you go around. And I have to admit, this was one of my favorite doodles when I was in school and just filling up the margins of my paper with those brackets. So I'm going to demonstrate both of those petal styles in the spiral quilt block. And this is an angle play block that is made of half rectangle triangles. So I like the circular feel of this block. So I will start in the center with a circle and then I'm gonna do some of my basic daisy petals. And I try to hit about halfway on the, between the petals so that I'm bumping from the halfway mark to the halfway mark and just continuing around. And then if you need to make a few smaller ones, of course you can do several bumps on one of the previous rounds that only had one. And as we get out to the second round of our fabric spaces, Here's our second round of fabric spaces. I'm going to switch to the bracket. So I come up to a point and then curve back. Curve up to a point, curve back. And then those points give you a place to end. So we're doing our point as over the dip and then doing our curve to come back to that point. So it really stretches out that bracket as you go around. And it does give you some place to aim as you're trying to connect those points. And there, I think I went outside the edge of my actual block. So you would, if, if, that happened while you were quilting and you were a little bit off center, you could just travel out to the seam line, come down, and we need to end with a curve on that point and then bracket out and again, follow that uh, seam line around. And you can go the other direction to fill in with some echoes and there you have an infinite bloom that just takes that flower design and expands it to the very edge of your quilt block. Are you curious about how angle play templates can expand your quilt design options? Click on this video to get an introduction to this great tool. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I share new videos each week with lots of quilting tips and techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.